cleaning her little face. Hello lovely humans, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another episode of Cute Vibes with Kelly and we have the cutest vibe of all today, my special guest, Sprinkles. Say hi, Sprinkles. Sort of, here she is, guys, my little girl. Sprinkles is my hamster, and I don't think I've ever featured her on the channel before. She's been on my live stream, but never on my YouTube, so I just wanted her to say hello to you guys. She is my little baby, and she's very used to the spotlight, guys. Don't worry, she's been in lots of videos before, and she kind of just chills and hangs out in my hand. Look at my little girl. Say hi, Sprinkles. <laughs> So Sprinkles and I want to send you guys lots of love and positive energies and hugs today. And since she's here, I thought it would be cute if I shared the story with you guys about how Sprinkles made her way into my life. Look at her cleaning her little face. Um, I've always been a hamster person my whole life. I've always had teddy bear hamsters, which are kind of like the generic pair of hamster. I feel like most people get them, but Sprinkles is a Chinese dwarf hamster. That's the specific type of hamster she is. So she is from China originally, and they are the sweetest little babies on the whole planet. Like I've had teddy bear hamsters that have been kind of a little bit nibbly, you know, they take a while to warm up, but Chinese dwarf hamsters are actually very sweet and calm, and they're really fun because they kind of have like long bodies as you guys could see and she has the cute little stripe going down her back kind of like a chipmunk um but they're the sweetest sprinkles is my little pride and joy i love her and she kind of just likes to hang out on me um we do want to give you guys some lovely advice today since i always like to start off the videos with positive vibes sprinkles and i want to remind you lovely humans in case you need reminding that sometimes in life we are our harshest har that sometimes in life we are our harshest critics and we beat ourselves up always feeling like we're not good enough or we're not accomplishing enough and we all go through moments in life where we feel this way lovely humans right but sprinkles and i want to remind you that even though you can't control things that are happening outside of you you could always control your passions and the things that light you up that you are good at um i have a lot of friends who are artists and i've been talking to a lot of my friends about this recently and we talk about how it's really hard to be an artist and it's hard to kind of like make a name for yourself as an individual and as a creative and just in general with whatever you do in life it's so hard to stand out in this world where everything just feels like a competition with social media and just always feeling like you need to prove to everybody else look how great i'm doing look how great i'm doing we forget about the important things in life which are obviously our loved ones our blessings but also our unique talents that make us special and i find that when i feel down about myself or if i'm judging myself for wherever my life happens to be at the moment, I always feel that I could turn to my art. I could always draw a character or film a cute fashion video and it lifts my mood and makes me feel better and reminds me of the true things that bring me bliss and joy. It's not, you know, accomplishing something in my career or having someone give me a compliment. It's those little things that make me feel happy inside that make me unique to be me. So I wanna remind you lovely humans, we both do. Remember how special those things are. Think about one thing right now. Really think about it. One thing about yourself that you like to do that brings you joy and happiness and makes you feel really happy to be who you are. One thing you're good at. One thing that you're proud of. And write it down on a piece of paper and try looking at it every single day to remind yourself of that thing. And that's something that's yours. That's something that you will always own. That will always be something that you could take confidence in and pride from just because it's something that you do that makes you feel like you. So remember, we could always go back to those things, lovely humans, when we're having moments of insecurity or self-doubt. So I'm gonna put this little girl back so she could rest, but she's gonna say goodbye, say bye to my baby. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna be bringing her around a lot more often in videos. So I'm gonna go drop her off so she's relaxed and I'll be right back. 
All right, lovely humans, I'm back. First of all, do you like my t-shirt? I got this in California. It's a really cool witch girl. She looks super whimsical and I just love it. I'm definitely gonna be styling this with a lot of cute looks around Halloween time. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video, I got so many cool graphic tees in California. Like, it is the best place to go for graphic tees. I stand by that. Um, I got so many super cool ones. So I will be wearing them a lot more often and showing them to you guys. Oh, by the way, my energy drink of the video today is Accelerator. I just started trying this new brand because it has zero sugar, but this flavor is Rocket Pop. And I was like, okay, it's like the very end of July. I gotta try this out. Um, it just feels so summery. And it actually does taste like a Rocket Pop. Have you guys had these when you were little? I'm sure you have. I have so many childhood memories of just running around barefoot in the summer eating these. <laughs> so I had to see if it tasted the same and it's honestly pretty spot on, to be honest, guys. Speaking of a yummy, yummy drink, let's talk about snacks. Moving on to the kawaii portion of my video. Kawaii stuff of the day. I wanna share with you guys my favorite snack. It is a Japanese brand snack and these are so delicious. I'm obsessed with them. I call them koala cookies. I don't know if that's like the exact name, but this is what the box looks like. How cute is the box? And they're just these tiny little cookies with different koalas on them. And all the koalas are like doing different things and have different styles. Aren't they so adorable? Like they're so cute. So I wanna show you guys how adorable these little cookies are. Like, did I want to try these cookies for the first time just because they were cute? Yes, absolutely. Like, who are we kidding? Um, <laughs> but is it a bonus that they're not only shaped like koalas, but each cookie has its own koala character on it? Yes, a huge bonus. Let's see which cookie we get at the top. Oh my God, is this a mommy and a baby koala? Guys, it's a mommy and a baby koala on the cookie. Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my God, it's so cute. Mm, so they're all so different. And it has, it's very light, super, super light. You could eat like a whole bag of these. And they have cream in them, but it's very light like strawberry filling. So then we just eat the koala, which doesn't feel right, but they're delicious. I'm telling you they're delicious. Try them if you can. They're so good. For the rest of my kawaii items for this video, I found something very, very precious on my trip to Cape May. I recently went down for a day trip to Cape May. I will have a reel up very soon about that. And I went to my favorite Sanrio store. Well, it's not really a Sanrio store. It's a toy store that introduced me to Sanrio. Um, it's super, super cute. It's called the Zoo Company Toy Store, and it was the first store that I went to in Cape May, which was my childhood vacation spot that introduced me to kawaii culture. And I became a huge fan of the Twin Stars um, as an adult. They weren't always like my favorite Sanrio characters, but once I found out about them as I got older, I was like, they are adorable. Why did I not know about them before? Um, so I absolutely love them, and I found this darling little Twin Stars keepsake box. Guys, how adorable is this? It has Kiki and Lala on the front. That's their names in case you guys didn't know. And it says little Twin Stars right here with a little cute pastel blue bow. And we can just open it up. I don't know what I'm gonna put inside of it yet. I've been thinking about putting my crystals in there, but I already keep them in my Moki bag. So that like wouldn't make sense really. So I'm not sure. But I just knew that I needed to have this cute little keepsake box. It's so adorable. It's great for storing anything small that means something to you. So maybe I'll just put some necklaces in it. I don't know yet, but I definitely had to show that to you for my kawaii part of the video. And of course it's pastel and you guys know how I feel about pastels. Hence why I named one of my characters after a pastel. <laughs> so yeah, and finally for the last of our kawaii items of the day, I have this little bunny girl. I don't think I showed this to you guys yet, but she is so cute. She floats on water, and as you tip it upside down, she kind of just 
falls to the bottom. Um, I got her at this super cute store called Minoso. It's a Japanese store that has a lot of cute accessories. I get most of my headbands and hair accessories from there. My cute sandals, some of my plushies. So this is where we got her from. So she's kind of just something cute and relaxing and calming to look at. I actually feel like I had like a toy like this when I was little, but I just thought, I don't know if you guys could like see her face. Turn around, little bunny. <laughs> I just think it's full of sparkles and really cute and fun and she just kind of goes on a little ride. Whee! She's living her best life, I think, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, it's just fun to look at. I like all the colors. I like all the glitter and the confetti in it and it just makes me happy and brings me joy. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today for Cute Vibes with Kelly. I'll be back next week sending you all loving energies and don't forget lovely humans. If you have something you're good at that makes you happy, sometimes that's simple enough. You don't need all of that validation from outside sources. Listen to your heart. Listen to what lights you up inside. That is the most important way that we could keep ourselves feeling happy and grounded in this crazy life. So sending love to all of you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.